But tonight we want to share with you a success story and not just a, hey, isn't that nice kind of thing. This teacher and her students overcame some huge COVID-19 obstacles to produce something unlike anything else in the world. Our Dustin Grove has their story from Noblesville. <laughs> Last time Caitlin Foy saw these young men, they were seniors in her science class at Noblesville High School. I haven't seen them since May. Half a year later, they've moved on to college, but never left her heart. I hadn't worked with a group of students that had so much um, just raw talent. To understand the connection, you've got to go back about a year. Back to all those pandemic restrictions. These four young men were in Mrs. Foy's biomedical innovations course, a capstone class that for each of them was supposed to include a big outside internship somewhere. Problem was COVID canceled. Yes, <laughs> there would be no internships anywhere. And so we just worked from there of what was something that we could do together that would be really meaningful and hopefully setting them up for success. Little did they know what was about to happen would do just that and more. I did not expect this. Mrs. Foy decided to bring the experience to them using her background in genetics and equipment they already had in the classroom. Together, they spent the semester researching plant DNA and through the course of their work. We were able to publish four new novel gene sequences. Their findings considered the first of its kind in the world, which meant these young men were published scientists before they graduated high school. All scientists work towards, you know, publishing their work and to the fact that we achieve that at such a young age. It, yeah, it's, it's surreal to think about that. As for their teacher, She's great. <laughs> yeah, she's super nice, cares about what she does, and she's all in for us. Where do you see these students in the future? I'm going to cry. <laughs> like... Teachers say their profession is a calling. One Caitlin Foy has never been prouder to have answered. I see them making the biggest difference in the medical field. I see them doing research that's going to be really meaningful to our science community in Indiana in the future.